What'd you do, 45? I'll flip you for it. Ready? Yep. All right. Heads. That was a terrible flip. All right, 45. This is marked one penny. He's asking 50 and in used condition. This is going for 300. Hey man, how's it going? I'm you. What's going on everybody? This is Justin, otherwise known as the Flipping Accountant. And today we are back at Southeast Game Exchange right up there in South Carolina. We're gonna be doing a trade video where I go ahead and find people to trade money for video games that we can sell on Amazon or eBay. So I'm very excited. Also, sorry about the background noise. <laughs> Anyways, this is our second trip back here. We already made one video, so check that one out. If you haven't seen it already, check it up there. Well, we're gonna run in there, see if we can find some video games to sell on Amazon or eBay. Let's jump right into it. So real quick, we just ran into Retro Rick over here, here, king of the retro gaming community. <laughs> you heard it, you heard it, heard it here first. That's right. So so not only is this man 5'9", but <laughs> tell us all about this deal that you just got. I just got a deal from a subscriber who came up to me and said, I got all these from Goodwill for two bucks a piece, two or three bucks a piece, oh, wow. Mario Kart, all N64, which okay. I never find cartridge based games at. You know, Goodwill. Yeah. You know, Mario Karts, Mario, Star Fox, all of them. They were worth roughly 560. He said, I'll give them to you. I'd love to sell them to you for 50% wow. of price charting. You can have them do something with them and I make money, he makes money. You know, it's, it's, it's how you do it. So yeah. it was a great deal. Everybody wins. Congratulations. I know, it's awesome. So anyways, there, I just literally just interrupted them because they're about to try and do a deal here. So if oh, you haven't already, make sure you check out Cheap Finds and Retro Gaming Pandemic over there. So <laughs> yeah, he oh literally God. just like oh, cut man. me off. All right, guys and gals, so we are back in the convention center. We've already been down that row over there. I haven't been to any of these rows here in the middle, so we'll see if there's anything left. Hopefully, we can find some good deals. All right, so let's take a, take a look. we got some games here. This one's five bucks. This one comes out for 20. Uh, Xbox, that bikini bottom is five. The used condition is going for like 20. Madden, this is only three bucks, but this is gonna make a three dollar profit, so pretty easy on shopping there. Uh, Band Hero, this is brand new and sealed, so it looks like it's a pretty good deal. Only five bucks. Kind of went through and looked at all the uh, all the games that were sealed, so didn't really see a ton, but I found a few so far. Let's see, used going for sixty bucks, and they're paying selling it for ten. So yeah, we definitely need to be uh, looking for. Um, DVDs as well. So, I'm gonna keep looking, see what else we can find. Alright, picking this up for 10. Sims for 5. And Bakugan, this is actually sealed for 10. That's a pretty good deal right here. Loose inside, but it's still worth pretty good money. So, I'll grab that too. I'd like to get all these games if you can work me a deal on them. Alright, see what I can do on them, baby. Alright. Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks? Yep. Would you do forty-five? I'll flip you for it. Okay. How will you think you win forty-five? You got it. You got it. Here we have a witness. Come over here. All right. You want to flip it? Man. Okay. Let it hit the ground. You call it. All right. Are <laughs> you good? Ready? Yep. All right. Heads. That was a terrible flip. All right, 45. My man. Thank you. I'm just walking around and stumbled upon Rick and Riff hanging out. What's up, bro? How's it going, brother? Just hunting, filming, filming, hunting, filming, filming. Yeah, yeah. It's that endless cycle that just keeps on going. I'm filming three for Caleb today. I'm okay. One for myself and doing two for Rick right now. Well, that's good. Have you had a break today? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> that doesn't really happen. That's right. Hardest working man in the biz I'll right here. I'll take it. I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Check out Riff's channel. All right, thank you. So, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Pixel Game Squad I'll in the house, and Retro Rick is over here doing some work. You. So, What's up? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. Right. These guys are walking around giving out oh. gifts. They gave me a Fallout 76, oh and they gave me a little oh spinner too. You guys are awesome. I appreciate yeah. you guys. Awesome, you guys are good man. people. So, wait a minute. So, this, this is marked one penny. How did you get a game that was marked one penny? Um, I got it out of the collection, man. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah that's that's way cool. That's a that's a rare one to find right there. Yeah, no, okay, but it doesn't have like a real price on it. Yeah. So, so this isn't the real it's price. It's a mystery. So what's the real price on this? Uh, I'll probably let it go for eighty, man. Eighty, okay. 
from one penny to 80 bucks. That's a heck of a return. <laughs> yeah, it's a hard way to find too because it's, it's a Circuit City resale. Circuit City. That's back when I was a kid. That yeah. didn't even exist anymore. Yep. Oh, the thanks for are, thanks for making me feel old, man. I appreciate days, it. Man. That's right. Yeah, we lost Toys R Us. Mm -hmm. Blockbuster. Yep. Hollywood videos. Yep. I used to work Actually, in movie gallery. Yep, I don't know if you ever went to movie gallery. Yep, I, I worked there. The good old days, man. Yep. Corbin was waiting outside of the bathroom, waiting on me. So now he's going through my goodies over here. So we picked up all of these games right here, except for that one. That one was freebie. Got all these games in here for 45 bucks. The dude flipped me for it, which was a pretty good deal. This game right here is sealed, brand new condition. It sells for 90 bucks on Amazon. Even in used, it goes for 50. So for 10 bucks, that was a pretty good pickup. Got some other good games in there. So for 45 bucks, we're off to another really strong start. So Pikmin, 10 bucks. I think it's like 35 That's on Amazon. Gonna get back in there. Gonna try to find some more deals. And yeah, keep on going. Subscribe. Subscribe. This is kind of cool. This guy has a bunch of uh, empty boxes. But this is great. Like if you're trying to complete a collection, you know, if you just have the, the cartridges, but you don't actually have the boxes, this would be a great way to kind of work on that collection. Oh, I remember playing this when I was younger. Krusty Super Fun House. We're at another booth. I'm just kind of looking around. That's all we got. Okay. And they have a Super Mario Lego set right here for 10 bucks, which is a pretty good deal because that's normally a $20 set. I think we might have some like little Super Mario Lego. Okay. That table, if there's any left. Okay. I'll, I'll check it out. Yeah, I'm, in, I'm into Legos. I'm a Lego collector, investor, stuff like that. So I buy way too many. So okay. I got a bunch of Kirby and Mennonites, so I can okay. any of those for five a piece. Okay. And any of the King Dedede or the uh, lock wings we can do for 10 of these. Okay, so he's saying Kirby like or that, Meta Knights. Throw in since it's, uh, since it's kind of loose. You can have that one, yeah. Okay, so he's saying he can do Kirby yeah. or Meta Knights for five bucks a piece. Mm -hmm. You said King DDD for 10. Yep, and the lock wings, the Zelda lock wings. And the Zelda lock wings, because I, I grabbed a couple yeah, of, those. of those. All right, I, I wanted to get a couple of those just like anyways. Okay. I'll say 10 is a good price, but I was curious if you had a bunch of these. So I want to get this Mario for sure. I think the lock ones all I have now. Okay, well there's, yeah, there's two I was gonna grab those. So I'm gonna look at these really quick, but he said he'd do five bucks a piece on there. So yeah, this could be a really big deal. So I'm pretty excited about this. So I'm gonna look real quick, I'll let you guys. Kirby and Meta Knight for five bucks a piece. So let's see what we got here. Kirby's selling for 1975. And at five bucks a piece, this is a $5 profit. So each one of these would be a double up. So five bucks would be awesome. Let's see what Meta Knight goes for. Let's see, Meta Knight. Meta Knight's the same way. So Meta Knight would be five bucks a piece and make five bucks profit. So yeah, this seems like a fantastic deal. I think I want to get, if, if you're cool with that, I'd like to get the, the Kirby's and the Meta Knight's. And I don't know how many you got. Let's let's see how many we got. So, so uh, twenty six and five would be one thirty. Okay. So twenty six and five would be one thirty. Maybe um, two of the Zeldas. Yeah, I wanted to get uh, a couple of the Zeldas and then Lego. I'll throw that in. So Thank you. Make that all one fifty then for everything. Else. Okay. And then, do we have any more of these that aren't yeah, beat up, see. like in good shape? Some right here. Yeah. You want to get more than the two? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. If, if they're in good shape, I'll take them. Yeah. There's that one is more than. Okay. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta grab them before, uh, before my, fine. before my friends come through here. So we got one fifty and then three more there. Okay, 180, 180. 190. I think this one, this one's a little beat up. Will you throw that one in. Sure. We'll just do two hundred. Right. Two hundred. Cool. So two hundred for all this. Yep. All right. Maybe I'll do a little more shopping and see what else we can That's find. Fine. But this, yeah, this, this is awesome. Thank you. Here, if you can throw. This guy is ten. So we're gonna pick this up for ten, and then we got a whole bunch of them. Yeah, for 200 okay i'm gonna set that over there so what's my total uh, sure, i i grab i grab one more 210, 210. all right so 210 this is steven he asked me if i knew a guy named harry tornado too <laughs> so let's get him paid and then i gotta run over to the whatnot stream 10 210 perfect thank you Appreciate sir it. man look at all these cool kids in one spot are you sitting up here with us <laughs> nope yeah you are nope she asked me to record. Right, just, got <laughs> just got done watching Corbin and Amy's panel talking about whatnot. If you guys aren't already following us on whatnot, me on whatnot, them on whatnot, check out the links in the description below. 
I'm headed back to this booth where I just bought a whole bunch of Amiibos that are brand new in the box from this gentleman. I paid five bucks a piece. It's going to be a double up on everything. So I spent 210, should easily make 210 on everything. And lo and behold, this green hatted gentleman over here is also talking to this cat. So I'm very curious as to what he may or may not have purchased over here. So I'm going to be nosy and sneak up on Caleb and see if he notices. Hey man, how's it I'm going? I'm mad at you. Uh oh. You're buying my clips from right, right around here. Oh my goodness. Amiibos. I'm the Amiibo guy now. Oh. I'm so sorry. You can't take that title from me. Uh, apparently, we, we, we have some uh, a, a little competition. We're here. beefing now, officially. I'm sorry. You're going to have to cut me out of this video. I'm sorry. I'm going to cancel you. Can we just blur this guy's face and just not even pretend like he Subscribe was here? Subscribe to Phoenix Resale, folks. Uh -huh. Unsubscribe. Just kidding. I'd never say that. Uh, Subscribe to Flipping Accountant because he's clearly a better reseller than me. I uh, have to concede. I, I wouldn't go that far, but I do appreciate it. So, <laughs> so did you find anything good over here, though? Found a few things. A couple okay. GameCube games. Okay, so up your sloppy seconds. That's good. So I left you a little bit then. Yeah, I, I got your crumbs. That's great. That's fantastic. So I'm glad we can work together and yeah, everybody we wins. Yeah, teamed it. Yeah, perfect. So thanks again, Steven. I appreciate it. You did, you, did you rub salt in this guy's wounds a little bit? I might get walk on the Sufficiently salted. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to uh, sign off and, uh, yeah, collect my Amiibos. All right, so just kind of looking around, seeing what everybody else has over here. we got some cards over here. we got some magic stuff. Yeah, buddy got me back into magic, so now I'm playing this again, just what I don't need. But, uh, yeah, tons of cool stuff. Just going to keep looking around, see what else we can find here. All right, hey, guys, so I'm walking around looking for uh, trading cards. I was looking at magic cards, and then Ash Ketchum came up and was looking at Pokemon cards. So if you don't mind, would you introduce yourself real Hi, quick? Hi, I'm Sarah Natacheni, and I'm just you know, shopping. Just shopping? Just shopping. And, and, and how many Pokemon do you voice? 21. Only? That's it. OK, cool. No big deal. And there's a character in the show, too? Ash Ketchum. Oh, that's the one. You know him. Yeah, fantastic. Good guy. <laughs> yeah. And you've been picking up cards, and up some cards. now you're going to sign them and all that stuff? No, or just keep in my personal collection. I play Mimikyu, Fable, Ash, obviously. This is a German. I mean, great. Wiggly Top I play, okay. Fancy I play, Pikachu I don't play, but it's hard, you know? Yeah. First movie. Um, thank you again. Yeah. Okay. I got another booth over here. And they got some sealed games over here that I'm looking at. And he started to mark these prices down. So these were 15 today. And he marked them down to 10 because tomorrow is like the second and last day. So I asked him if I bought a bunch of he would work me a better deal. So right now these are like six bucks profit. But if I get them down to like eight, and like eight, and do like hundred percent ROI. So we're gonna see if we can get these for a little bit cheaper. But the thing is and then these are kind of the same thing. So for 10 bucks a piece, these would be a really good deal. These are all brand new and sealed. So it's 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Just shake them, make sure that they're not loose. All right, so here's what I've got so far. Okay. I'm still looking, but right. I've got nine games so far. Okay. So, and, and you marked them down to 10. Yep. Did you do 80 for the nine games? Yeah, I'd do that. Okay, awesome, thank you. So we'll get these. I'll look around just a little bit more. Okay. But uh, I'll get these for sure. Okay. So he's got a sealed Xbox Rockstar Games collection for 40 bucks. All these games are new and sealed. And on Amazon, it's selling for 103 bucks. So this would be $80 gross. So 40 bucks, this would be a double up. So it'd be $40 profit right on this right here. So we're gonna get this to, he's asking 50 in used condition. This is going for 300. Interesting. It's kind of a, Interesting pickup right there for 300. XCOM UFO Defense, huh? So even in this condition, this would be like a $200 profit on this right here. So this is probably where he's getting the $50 from because this is uh, on eBay for 50 bucks. So even on eBay, it's going for like 50. It doesn't sell very often. So this would be one that you'd have to like buy and sit on for a while. So I don't know if I'm gonna buy that. Ooh, this is sealed for a hundred bucks and it's selling for 200. So, I mean, that's pretty good. This is would be like 60 bucks profit. So we got, 80. There, there's nine over there. Okay. And you got a hundred on this and 40 mm -hmm. would be 220. Okay. Would you do 200 for everything? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much. Easy to work with. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Real quick, I do have to grab my games and my Amiibos that I bought from this gentleman, Steven over here, but let me show you guys what I just picked up. So check this out right here. We've got Ninja Gaiden Z Sigma Plus. This was a hundred. This was for like two. 
this right here. This is sealed, 40 bucks. This goes for 100 on Amazon. I got all of these games that are sealed right here. These are 10 bucks a piece. And then the Dead Rising 2s, those were 10 bucks a piece. So I bought all of these right here. It was 220 and I offered him 200. So he took the 200 and then we chatted. So that was pretty good. Pick up all that stuff. And now I gotta grab my Amiibos and then we're gonna get out of here. So we've had another good day. What'd you get for, for 500s? Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards. Yeah. And bags and bags of stuff. Pokemon bags. And apparently Rip is in on this too. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everyone watching this video, thanks for being here. It is the end of day one at Siege, Southeast Game Exchange. And today we did fantastic. This is actually haul number two. So this will probably be video number two of my videos from Siege. So I'm going to quickly go over everything that we got. We'll talk about the stuff that we, we picked up. We'll talk about the stuff we didn't pick up and see if we can learn anything from today. So starting off, when we went back today, uh, I got this stack of games and we'll quickly run through them. This was a freebie that somebody just kind of walked by and uh, gave to me, so that was really nice. I found this Yu-Gi-Oh! in used condition. This is going for, I want to say like 40 or 50 on Amazon and I paid 10. So that was pretty good. DVDs sell really well on Amazon. And if you're selling on Amazon, you're not selling DVDs, check out my ungating video. I made it just for you so you can learn how to do that. And I have other videos in my ungating tutorial playlist to teach you how to get ungated and stuff. That was a pretty good pickup. We got a few more games. We got SpongeBob. This was three bucks, but it's like a $3 profit. We got Sims for the GameCube. I paid five. This was a really good pickup. This was 10 bucks and this is sealed. Even in used condition, this is a pretty good return. Pikmin, Pikmin 3, I'm sorry. Uh, Daisy Fuentes Pilates for five bucks. I always look for cheap, you know, shovelware type games that are sealed. So for five bucks, this would be a good little return. Uh, Band Hero, this is actually sealed as well for the Xbox 360, so that was a pretty good pickup. And then we have our Amiibos. So let's talk about the Amiibos for a few minutes. So in case you didn't recall, Caleb Phoenix Resale was at this guy's booth about an hour after I was. And it was so funny because I walked up and he was there talking to this guy and he had just bought some video games. So I said, hey man, what's going on? And I just kind of, you know, walked right up on him and he was so funny. He was like, he's like, we're beefing now. He's like, we got problems because I bought all of these Amiibos because apparently he thinks he's the Amiibo guy, but I came to the convention and I got to these guys first. I'm sure you can see this big box in my room and that's full of Amiibos. And I'll, uh, I'll just kind of show you, there's still a bunch of Amiibo in here. I didn't feel like pulling all of them out. These ones I paid $5 a piece for the Meta Knights and the Kirby's. And those are all going to be a double up. If I sold them right now, they'd be a double up. I might wait a little bit and sell some now, maybe sell some later, closer to Christmas. These Zeldas, uh, he wouldn't come down on the price, but that's okay. These were 10 bucks a piece. I think these are like 25 or 30 on Amazon. So for 10 bucks a piece, that was another good pickup. And these are all brand new and sealed. They, uh, they buy like truckloads of stuff and that's why they get stuff like this. And it was kind of funny because the guy said that they actually sell on Amazon, but they don't sell stuff like that because they're not ungated. So if you want to know how to get ungated in that stuff, again, check out my ungating playlist. I made it just for you guys. I also picked up this Amiibo right here and then a Super Mario Lego because I couldn't go somewhere without buying Lego, which apparently is the deal but that was 10 bucks. That's normally a $20 set, but I'll probably just add that to my stockpile. He didn't want to come down on the price on the King DDDs, but I actually think he threw those in. So that was super nice of him. So all the Amiibos and Lego. So all that stuff, I think I paid like 210 for all that stuff. So that was a really good pickup. Thanks again for the great deal. And uh, sorry, Caleb, that uh, I got to the Amiibos first, but I'm sure you got plenty of awesome deals. If you guys haven't already, check out Caleb's channel, subscribe to him. He uh, puts out tons of great content and I've learned a lot from him and he's a super nice guy and is always very helpful. And uh, he's been a big help to me in my YouTube and uh, reselling journey and stuff. Really quick, let's get to the last part. And I'm sorry that this conclusion is running on and on, but uh, I got all of these games at this last vendor that I talked to. I paid 200 bucks for all of this stuff right here. It was either I think it was two, I think it was supposed to be 220 and I offered him 200 and he took 200 for all this. So this is like a hundred bucks sealed. This goes for like 200 on Amazon. This is a really nice Rockstar collection. 40 bucks for all four of these games sealed for the Xbox 360, that was really good. And then these guys are all sealed. He had marked them down to 10 and then he worked me a deal because I bought a whole bunch of stuff. So that's something that I like to do is I like to try to bundle. When you're buying from one vendor, if you're gonna buy a lot of stuff, try to bundle it all together. 
and offer them, you know, try to pay in cash. People want to people want to receive cash. They don't really want to deal with the uh, transactions on PayPal and stuff like that and pay fees. They'd much rather have cash. So I'm always trying to have cash and make the best offer that I can while still being able to turn a profit. That was it for my first day at Siege, my first time going to Siege. It was very cool, I had a lot of fun, met a lot of really cool people. I had a lot of people stop me and say, hey, Justin, I'm, I'm surprised that you're here. It's so great to meet you. And uh, shout out to the people that did stop me and chat with me. I, I think Max was one of them. And I, I think I'm gonna be in Max's video. So Max, I don't remember your last name, but it was a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet everyone else that had the chance to say hi. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor hit that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll talk to you later.